what's up guys we are back here with another auto auction update man this is an auction we haven't been to in a few months um they usually have one every few months or so so they got a bunch of cars here today let's check them out uh, let's see what these prices are going for it's a sunday so you never know what these prices are going to go for if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe man they got a pretty cool lineup so let's check them out shall we all righty guys we got a 1999 mustang 112,000 miles on the dash first glance it does look pretty good it looks like they put the uh, newer style mustang wheels on there and they do have like the mirror tint on here i kind of wanted this tint on my camaro but now seeing it on here i don't know if this is just poor quality or what but um, I don't. I think I just want to go straight black. But if we take a look at the interior, we do have some pretty clean cloth uh, interior in here. And this is an auction where they pretty much dress up the car. So be aware of that. Um, it always makes everything a little bit better. I mean, it sells for a little bit more too. So, I mean, it is what it is. It is the GT version. So that's a plus. It is the V8. Um, I pop the hood on this thing and see. Here we go. All right, we got a cold air intake on there. Nothing too special. But what y'all think about it, man? Let me know in the comments below. All righty, guys. Next up, man, we got a 2003 BMW 325 here. 121,000 miles on the dash. Uh, first glance, it does seem pretty cool. Um does seem pretty cool missing a mirror cover right there but i think we see something in the back before we get into it let's just check out that back because it looks like that thing is bashed in they was drag racing the form and then just wrecked this thing so it honestly yeah that's pretty it might just be the bumper honestly nah i think that's a little bit more because <laughs> i was looking at the rebar it doesn't look pushed in but I don't know that tub of like the little back of the uh trunk there looks kind of pushed in but i mean if you take a look at the inside you do have some pretty nice like peanut butter cookie crisp going on up in that junk dog pretty decent lineup pretty cool cars but this one is red man so gotta find something good we got an 05 Buick Century, 185,000 miles. Look way better than mine, that's for sure. You got the wheels on there. You would need to just pop that out, pop that out. Let's take a look. This one, yeah, it looks pretty good in here. It looks like all of the uh, Centuries have that in the floor because mine has that too. That's funny. But it does look, I mean, pretty fair in here. It does look like a Century, but guys, no, we took a... Uh, a gamble on that Buick, man, and it just didn't turn out how we wanted it. So, won't be looking into the Buick for the first choice, but it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think about this one in the comments below. They got a 2000 Camaro here. They don't know the mileage, but it does run. Um, let's look under the hood. Got the LS1 in here. MSD spark plug wires. Look like the battery might have burned up at a certain period of time. It does have the cow hood on there with the little uh, side marker strip. Take a look at the inside. It's pretty whooped. Pretty whooped in the inside, man, but they say it do run. So, you guys know. Oh, look. That's funny. This car came from LA. I don't know how they got it way out here. It's crazy. I ain't trying to get cut by that barbed wire. But this one of the homie cars. What y'all think about the marrow, man? Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, guys. Next up, man, we got a 06 Chevy Impala here. 160,000 miles on the dash. First glance, it does look pretty good. I'm digging the blue color on it. Does look like it has some pretty new tires on it. That's a plus there. Um, it's kind of damaged in the front there but nothing too crazy little whammy over here the show slight tequila kickish nothing crazy 
missing a few trim pieces, but nothing too, nothing too wild. We could take a look under this hood real quick. 160,000 miles, guys. Doesn't look special under here at all. I mean, typical dirty, 160,000 mile Chevy Impala. Oh, it got the sunroof. Most of the ones we see don't have don't have the sunroof. And then they got something something holding that. So I guess that's for the uh, hood, so it won't slide back in there. But I mean, typical Impala doll. And I think this Cadillac right here was actually here from this last auction like months ago. So yeah, they got a bunch of cars in here that they uh kept on kept holding on to for like months here. So what y'all think about the Impala Doe Land? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, guys, we got a 2007 Dodge Caliber here, 151,000 miles on the dash. Uh, first glance, it actually looks pretty good. You're missing the center caps on the wheels, um, so that sucks. It makes it look kind of kind of woke but i mean it is what it is if you take a look at the inside it does look pretty decent it does have this gray um cloth interior however it kind of smells like gasoline in here and then they tried to cover it up but it does have an aftermarket radio and i don't know um too much about this auction but my my buddy did say he got a car from here and he was waiting like three months for his title and then they never uh, gave him his title, so he ended up just getting his money back. But this one kind of smells like gasoline on the inside. What y'all think about it, man? Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, guys. Next up, man, we got a 2000 GMC Yukon here. This one actually has 141,000 miles, and it is the 4x4. It's got the big daddy mini tires on that joint, man. Take this right to the dirt. Got the faded hood. That's not too uh, big of an issue. It should have the Vortec. 5.3 in there 5.3 in there seems pretty legit under here i don't see anything that stands out third row on this daddy o2 let's check out the inside man let's check out the inside oh wow all righty we check out the inside we do have some tan chewed up look like chico is in here uh not too bad got the tv up there tan leather interior but under here it does look like they was trying to do something i don't know you guys let me know what you think went on there you think it's just a simple cover or some wires going on but other than that i mean we can swing where i'm back you do got like some sharp little stuff right there sharp little cut nothing too crazy these wheels on here will make it look so beefed up I wonder if this thing vibrates like a mug when you were uh, on the freeway. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. Next up, guys, we got an O2 Honda Accord here, 166,000 miles. Pretty low mileage, if you ask me. First glance, it does look pretty cool. However, it does have a donut on the back. This is an actual wheel, it's not a hubcap up here. These headlights could use some restoration. Before we get to the back, we can actually just pop this bad boy and look under there. It does look pretty dirty, it looks like some stuff has splattered at a certain point in time, but they say it do run. So, I don't know, we'll see. Got some gappage there on the door. We take a look at the inside. I mean, this steering wheel is pretty wood, man. I would need a whole steering wheel cover over that as soon as I get it. Seat covers on the front, back has the beige leather. Honestly, it's pretty whipped in the inside. But I mean, it might be a good, uh, a to B car. Hell no, nah, I can't even fit through there, y'all. Look what I tried to fit through, man. Just walk around, man. It's not even that serious. But, yeah, I mean, body wise, seem pretty fair. Got the dummy on the back. What y'all think about the Honda Accord, man? Let me know in the comments below. Man, this was like my first car right here. It's a 91 Honda Accord, 153,000 miles. Looks similar to this. Um, man, that's crazy. It was kind of more like a brownish color, but the interior looked pretty much just like this. Looked just like this. Same color, same setup. Wow. 
this thing brings back so many memories, bro. Man, I had 10 on mine, so it was super dark. Had the radio on my joint. Ooh, wow. Dang, this thing brings back memories. That's crazy. I would, I would honestly grab this thing. Honestly, I would. I wouldn't mind having one of these, man. You just gotta find a clean one. But this thing used to uh, do it in high school, man. What y'all think about the Honda Accord? Let me know in the comments below. We got a 06 Mercury Mountaineer, 150,000 miles, third row. Looks pretty good. So it lo looks like the front might have been uh, painted over at a point in time. Dang, where is it? I don't know if I'm just slow or what. I don't know. But yeah, underneath the hood it does look really good in here. Looks like they clean it up pretty nicely. Pretty nicely. The front end, like I said, looks like it might have been painted over at a point in time. I'm not saying this auction did it or not, but the inside does look really good. Smells kind of like a dead cat, to be honest like a house full of cats. The interior looks really good, but it, honestly, it smells like death in that mug. Like, ugh. Yeah, somebody probably died in that one, man. It stink up in that joint, but I mean, the inside look cool. If you can get over that smell, I mean, have somebody come with a whole bunch of incense, you might be good. Let me know what you think about it though in the comments below. And they got a bunch of cars here uh, that we might not be going into full detail on but i'll just show you what they got they got a little caddy here a little hyundai you got a monte carlo back here another little honda i mean a little tlc you might be able to uh this one look whoop though like dang these things just be looking so good, like, look at this back seat, man. These things just be looking so beat. Everything is like on dummies, and they got an O2 Suburban here. This one got 107,000 miles. They got a third row. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, cool then, man. Just check it out real quick. Oops. Does have the uh, gray leather interior. Looks pretty good though, if you take a look at the back. It does not have the third row. Oh, it does have the third row back there. Okay, boom. So they put the third row down, but it does. they do have it. Got the little step stool down there, which is a plus. That seems pretty cool. That seems pretty cool. Like this joint, but this thing. Fuck the tequila kick. They was about to blow this joint up. A foot more, man. That thing would've blew up probably. Ooh. I got an older Mustang. Not really my flavor. Not really my flavor. Other side, the Yukon. I mean, they got a few cars here, guys. Don't get me wrong. But man, you guys should have seen how they promoted it. Boy, I need that marketing team whenever I do something. You would have thought they had Bentleys and Lambos up here the way they was promoting it, man. But I mean, you got a couple nice trucks here. This one happens to be a 94, uh, 95 C500, 159,000 miles. The color on it looks pretty nice. Got the bed in the back. Ain't this seat whooped. I mean, be a pretty good truck if you put some time and effort into it but it is what it is man what is that a bronco or something we got a 1986 ford bronco here 101,000 miles definitely was repainted over restored type um does seem pretty fair got the big windows on the back let's take a look and see what's under this hood we got a 2.9 liter electric fuel injected. So this is probably when they uh, first started doing the fuel injected engines on the V6. I don't know, it's the XLT model, y'all let me know. 
y'all know anything about the Broncos. But I mean, it looks pretty original. It looks pretty original. Those seats back there might have been original as well. Looks pretty fair. I mean, it looks pretty good. You got the floor shifter in there and everything. The paint job is honestly not the best, but I mean, it's a 1986. So I mean, I'd rather have it all, you know, matching it together rather than having like faded paint and whatnot. So, I mean, you got the tire on the back, but let me know what y'all think about it, man, in the comments below. Couple more whips, but most of it's like junk, so we won't be bidding on nothing high here. I don't really see nothing really high price, so everything here is gonna go for pretty cheap, if you ask me, so stay tuned. Alrighty guys, it's gonna be a wrap for today's video. If you're wondering what any of these cars went for, be sure to tune in tomorrow morning as that video will be out first thing in the AM. Until next time guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.